All right, hey guys. So today is the first vlog of Terra Does Arizona, hashtag burning sage. And yeah, I'm at my folks house right now. Actually, that is my stepmom in the Hi. background. My dad already left, he had an appointment uh, for something. So um, I have my truck all packed up and I'm on my way to uh, my good friend's house. I've known this dude since like seventh grade. Um, and one of his four boys is my godson. So I'm gonna be chilling with my godson and the other boys. <laughs> because I'm their auntie um, and I'm going to yeah say what's up to his wifey and yeah so I'll see you guys in like uh, 498 miles okay so All right, as you can see, all loaded up. We're ready for Zona. That's right, Cali baby, coming to Arizona. Got my co-pilot. almost full tank of gas that's okay that'll get us to state lines where gas is cheaper but all oh right so we have some snacks <laughs> um i don't know there's like some layer bars and stuff in here and we got mr diego <laughs> and there's a lot of stuff back there so all right here we go all right so i am currently out of san diego county now i'm actually in So I finally made it to my buddy's house and uh, I actually took one of his son's rooms so I get the bottom bunk. Uh, so yeah, I just uh, got everything here. The essentials, you know, like Mr. Diego, everything, so. so. I'm at my buddy Tony's house. These are not all of the kids. We're missing one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a hermit. He's gonna stay upstairs. Like the hermit time. is upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> And hello, hello. Yes, we're uh, well, actually, we have one of their other fur babies is there, and there's another fur baby somewhere else, and then there's the fur bunny. Um, the fur bunny is upstairs, so there's four fur babies, four fur babies, four boys, one dude, one wifey. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I'm pretty
pretty much all settled in here in Phoenix, Arizona. Um, you know, just to kind of end this very first vlog from uh, Tara Does Arizona, hashtag burning sage. <laughs> um, and yeah, it's, um, you know, I still feel really good about my move. Um, obviously I'm like sitting in a bunk bed right now. There's like the second bunk is like right here. <laughs> um, but yeah, so um, my good friend and his wife, um, they have four boys and so um, all four of them are in the big room next door. And so um, the two younger ones, I'm in their room right now. Um, but it's so cool, like I, I showed earlier, like they got a whole like chalk wall. They have their like big TV in here. They got like all their Spider-Man stuff and Doctor Strange. And it's just like, it's so cute. <laughs> um, I've got Mr. Diego and you know, all my stuff just kind of like set up so that I could still, you know, do my readings and keep up on my, um, my Etsy shop and my website. Um, so things are still moving there. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, I actually didn't listen to any music, um, the whole five hour plus drive that it took to get here. It was a nice, smooth, drive um you know through uh, the rest of san diego county um all the way into arizona you know coming in through yuma and uh, so i and i wanted it that way i was actually doing a lot of thinking i was doing a lot of reflecting and i was just uh, i just felt really good it was um kind of a mix mixed bag of emotions uh obviously because um you know i've i'm you know, out of my 14 plus year relationship. And that's a good chunk of my life. Um, and so it's just, you know, different, even though that that's not a relationship that it wasn't working anymore, you know, um, still just, it's different, you know, because you've had this person in your life for so long. And actually I've known him more than 14 years. We were just dating for 14 years, but I've known him for 20 years. And, um, it was just, it's just so different because like normally I think like, oh, to call or to text or, you know, I look at my phone and there's nothing but, you know, like pictures of our, of our two fur babies, you know, Wally and Loki um, and pictures of us. And so it's, you know, to have that part of my life gone is just so different. Um, but of course, you know, like with any relationship, whether it's a friendship or, or with family member or whatever it may be, um, you know, change is going to be difficult and um, staying with somebody, you know, friendship or whatever it is, uh, just so that you don't have to feel how difficult change is, is probably not the best reason to be staying with somebody. Um, and so, you know, I was just kind of going over that in my head that yes, this change is difficult, but I know in my heart that, you know, us together was not working anymore. You know, no, no bad feelings. Like I, I don't, <laughs> you know, nobody hates anybody. Um, and it wasn't anything like that. It's just sometimes people grow apart and that happens. Um, it was also another big transition to wake up and not have my two fur babies, not to have Wally or Loki. So I am looking forward to those videos and pictures um, of them just to kind of see like what's going on. But also in meditation, um, I can feel their energy, but actually even out of meditation, I've been feeling them around me, you know? Uh, so it's nice that, you know, on that energetic realm, you can at least stay connected um, to those that you love. Um, and so, yeah, it's, it's just been a little bit different. You know, my, my buddy, I've known him since like seventh grade, um, and his wife for a really long time too, probably since like 2004, maybe, maybe earlier 2000. I don't know. It was somewhere around. It was a long time ago. <laughs> um, you know, no, I know all four other boys. One of them's my godson. And, um, yeah, just to kind of like be here in Phoenix. And it's like, you know, at some point I was like, I'm really doing this. Like I'm really wow, I'm taking, I'm really taking the fool's leap. Something that I probably couldn't have fathomed any other time in my life. Um, and it was like, I really am, you know, leaving the job behind and I can do whatever I want. Like that just came to mind. I can do whatever I want. And 
the only other time I thought that is when I was like, oh, one day when I hit the lottery, I'm gonna do whatever I want, you know. Um, I'm gonna, you know, if I could do anything for, and I didn't have to like work for money because I won the lottery, I would do this and I would do this. And really it was, I would continue to do my tarot readings and I would continue to make witchy items and I would continue to sell my Wally's World Oracle and I would even make other Oracle and tarot decks. And, um, and now, it is like I won the lottery. It's like it's like I won the energetic lottery or something. It's like I get to do whatever I want. You know, it's like I, I get to do whatever I want to make money, but also be happy and fulfilled at the same time. I get to live wherever I want. I get to buy whatever home I want and I will decorate it however I want. Like I just, I get to just be me and I just, um, yeah, I get to do whatever the hell I want now. And that's like pretty cool. And like my stepmom's like, if you want a peanut butter and jelly sandwich for dinner, like go ahead, cause you could do whatever you want. And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> so yeah, it's just like so freeing, you know, that I um, can just kind of go anywhere, do anything, you know, maybe, um, I mean, I really do like Arizona, but, um, you know, I, I can travel anywhere. I mean, I just got my, like, my, I got my passport renewed and I'm just like, oh my gosh, I can do anything. And um, I want to do more vlogs with this channel. Like I, I want to revamp my, my website a little bit and, you know, just kind of like work, work on that, that part of my business because it's more been like a side business because I always had like, you know, my, my teaching job. And I still want to do teaching stuff, just not in the public education system. And uh, yeah, and I get to put now all of my time into this and I'm super excited. Like I really am you guys. And you know, a lot of people kept telling me that it would be scary, it'd be scary for them. And I, I was thinking, you know, it, it kind of would be scary, but like once you're like doing it, it's freeing. Um, so yeah, and uh, you know, at the same time, I'm, you know, happy that, um, you know, the, the former dude and I, we can, you know, continue to maybe work on things and remain cordial, remain friends. Um, you know, obviously a lot of healing for both of us to do. Um, but I really do want to come back and see my fur babies, you know, multiple times a year and, um, just be able to check up on things because, you know, he really is a good person. He's a great person. Um, and uh, yeah, it would. I I don't want to be excommunicado, you know. So, but anyway, I thought I would just do like a little. We'd have a little chit chat on the bunk bed, <laughs> you know, uh, to end this vlog. So uh, yeah, that's it. That's this is the end of the very first vlog. Hashtag burning sage. Hashtag Tara does Arizona. We'll see what happens next. I did have to wash my truck. I didn't film any of that, but. Uh, when I arrived here, um, many hundreds of miles later, uh, I had a lot of um, bugs that came along for the ride, and we had to use a power washer to clean that truck off. And so, and I have some like um, cleaning supplies that are now showing up via Amazon's, so that um, I can continue to make the, keep the truck looking nice. So there was that. And then we went grocery shopping yesterday at a place I've never heard before. It's called Winco. So you zonies who watch this. Uh, channel are probably like, oh, of course, Winco. Um, but yeah, it was actually really cool because it's like you could get food really cheap there. And it's like I bought a buttload of food for like at least a couple of weeks worth of eating for like a hundred dollars. That's like really good. <laughs> um, oh, and by the way, I bought these little sponges. I just, it's like I couldn't, they were, they were like what, 98 cents? Yeah, they were like 98 cents. And these are little sponges for the shower. And it's like a little rainbow and a little cloud and a little star. And I don't know if I'm actually going to use them to wash myself, but maybe just have them because they're cute. But anyway, <laughs> thought I'd share that. Um, so yeah, that's the end of this vlog and I will catch you guys later. Um, let me know if you did this by giving this a thumbs up. Don't forget to click subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes of my vlogs. Tara does Arizona, hashtag burning sage. Um, keep you guys up to date. And uh, yeah, um, all of my info is down below for my website, readings, you wanna buy any of my handmade items like my salves and my sprays and all my witchy stuff. That's in my Etsy shop actually, which is down below. Um, wanna send a little tea money my way. 
there's the PayPal me, but there's also my Patreon. So if you want to um, support as my Patreon, um, but there's a lot of free goodies over there too. So definitely check that out. And um, yeah, and I don't have a uh, mailing address down below yet um, because I want to get into more of a permanent residence before I give you guys a mailing address so you can continue to send your postcards and all that good stuff. Um, and if you can still send Wally and Loki some things, I'll just make sure that it gets um, forwarded down to their dad's address. Okay. So yeah, that's it for me, spiritual homies. I will catch you later. All right. Peace, love, and chicken grease from Arizona. Peace out.